This video is brought to you by Triple Sleeve TCG. Check out their website at triplesleevetcg.com. Hey guys, welcome back to another deck profile. My name's Richard, and today I've got you guys a Nirvana Virena Urger deck profile. Um, it's been a minute since I've decided to pick up a Dragon Empire deck, so I'm kind of excited for this. Um, it, it plays really fun, so I like the deck, and you know, it's good to diversify your deck pool, so. Just going right into it. We got Sunrise Egg, you know, the trial deck starter. We got Reno. Uh, when you ride Rayu on top of her, you search Trickstar. Rayu Grade 2, um, you got to ride it on top of Reno. And then when you ride Nirvana on top of Rayu, you can add Virena from your deck to your hand. And both of these guys get 2k when they attack, but I don't know. That kind of makes a difference when you're going into your early game you throw an 8k behind them so it hits numbers so it helps lastly we got nirvana uh, Nirvana's skill is you discard a card from your hand you grab a trick star or any grade zero you want from your drop and call it and when this attacks you kind of plus one and this unit and all your units with the overdress ability get 10k so it makes your front row a little bit bigger and then obviously if you persona ride they'll get 20k so really big numbers going on all right, on to the grade threes. You want to be able to Persona Ride, so we're running three copies of Nirvana. So it's pretty obvious there. <laughs> All right, going on to the main card of the deck, which is Virena Urger or Urger. So Urger's skill is you can you overdress it over Trickstar. Uh, when it's in your hand, auto at the end of the battle that your Trickstar attacked a Vanguard. If your Vanguard is Nirvana, you Soul Blast two. And then you overdress this from your hand as stand on top of Trickstar, and you counter charge one. And then the other skill is rear guard or guard circle. When this is in the overdress state, this gets 10k power and uh, 20 and 10k shield. So it's like a 15k shield when it intercepts. And the it's a continuous ability, so this is constantly at the 20k, which is really nice. So it makes it harder to hit. Um, and yeah, just intercepting and getting Trickstar back in your drop to call it out again with Nirvana. It's a good incentive to have. All right, next up, we got some resource management coming up. We got Virena Arcs. So Virena Arcs is really simple. You overdress it on top of Trickstar, and when this is placed uh, in overdress, you kind of blast one, draw two cards, and it gets 5K. Drawing two is really nice, especially since the turn that you ride to grade two, you use um, Reno skill to call it Trickstar, if you have arcs in hand, you just boom, overdress, kind of blast, draw two, already off to a great start. So definitely want to run four copies of arcs. Lastly, for grade twos, I am running three copies of Irina. So the reason I'm running three copies of this and not just like the one or the two and like maybe something like Valiente is because I still think Virena is a really decent beat stick. Um, it's free. You just throw it on top and then also i just like the fact that um you can still use the soul if you don't want have the soul to use um Urger. you can soul blast two to snipe a card so what it does is when it's uh when it attacks uh if it's in the overdress state it gets 10k and then i can soul blast two and you pick one of your opponent's regards and you retire it so if your opponent has a regard you really don't like you get rid of it right um and just the fact that it just gets the 10k automatically when you're, it's in overdress. So you get 20, 30 from uh, Nirvana, and then you know if you're in over if you're in Persona Ride, sorry, uh, 40k. So 40k beater just literally before triggers, honestly really good. So I like um, Virena as a beat stick, honestly. And I feel like right now with the early stages of overdress, beat sticks are being really helpful. So I want to be able to have access to it. And also it's a good discard target. So you search it, add to hand, you discard it for Nirvana skill to get out Trickstar, etc. All right. Speaking of discard targets, uh, onto the grade ones, I'm running three copies of Stealth Dragon Togachi Rashi. So Togachi Rashi's skill is when this is discarded from your hand during your turn, you can put this into your soul. So soul charging for... Virena Urger for the most part, honestly. And then it can be for Virena as well, but just basically being able to like do this during your um your turns when you're riding through your ride deck. You just discard this, ride a card from your ride deck, and then move this to soul. You're, you're not losing any resources. On to 
the rest of the grade ones. We got another new card, Blade Maiden Aruna. So Aruna's skill is when this is boosted by a grade, or when this boosts a grade zero, it gets 5k. So you boost Trickstar, make it to, to an 18k column, uh, Persona I'm 28, so just bigger numbers. Um, it helps because if you're going to be attacking with Trickster anyways, making the difference between a 13 and 8k can make a difference. Uh, if your opponent just wants to intercept or throw a 5k guard, so it's a good booster. Um, Dragon Empire right now, I feel like a lot of their grade ones, other than like Togarachirashi, are kind of like whatever. But since the focus of this deck is to attack with Trickstar, this you are going to want to run copies of this. And lastly, uh, or sorry, not lastly, because I still got PGs after this. Um, for my other grade ones, I like running uh, two copies of Tenchestead because Persona Ride, like I said. So you're not really using as much Cannablast for cards like Valiente. So I feel like you can still, and also the fact that um, Urger countercharges, there is a balance with the Cannablast now. So I do want to take advantage of that by running uh, Tensa Tenchestead. So what it does is then during the attack that this unit's boosted hits, try saying that five times, five times fast. Um, during the attack, then when this unit boosted hits, Cannon Blast 1, you retire it, you search uh, for a copy of your Vanguard in your deck and add it to your hand. So, obviously, when we're on grade 3, this boost, it hits, you Cannon Blast, retire it, search Nirvana from your deck, add it to your hand, you have Persona right next turn. Um, only running it at 2, just because space, but, you know, this can be a little bit of a pressure card. You throw it behind your van, swing a van, they decide to take it, you know, you get to add that uh, Nirvana back to your hand. Persona Ride is good. That's basically the, the main point. So you want to be able to take advantage of it. Um, next up, PG's. Um, Sentinel, when this is placed on guard, you pick a unit, cannot be hit. And if you have two or more in hand, you have to discard a card. So really good PG. Love these new uh, PG's that work with Brave, basically, almost. All right, grade zeros. Obviously, main card of the deck, Trickstar. Um, you want to be running Trickstars, so, you know, run them for Trickstars because it's the only way you can overdress. You need the Trickstars. Oh, other important fact about Trickstar, which is fun, it uh, it can't be chosen by card abilities, so you can't don't have to worry about it being prisoned or retired. So if you just got the Trickstar on the board just to, you know, have a booster, it's nice to just sit there. For triggers... Um, Dragania, or Drag Veda, sorry. <laughs> Drag Veda. Um, its additional effect as an overtrigger is uh, you drive check it, your Vanguard restands, so extra attacks, always good. Um, yeah, multi attacking is good, so you want to run that one. Um, for the next set of cards, four copies of the front trigger. Um, power is good, shield is good. However, I do like running draw triggers in this deck just because um, you can discard costs for Nirvana. Drawing into overdress pieces is good. Um, for now, I am testing it with the fronts instead, fronts and crits. I do like the fronts, but I have been going back and forth. I do like the draws too. So you can do either or. But what this front does is it, if it's on guard circle, it gets an extra 5k shield. So you can't go wrong with extra shield in hand. On to... The crits, so because we got Drag Veda, we got to run seven crit. So I got these right here. Ooh, move that over. So seven crits, just vanillas, you know, just doing what they do best. Crits win games. And lastly, we got four heals, and we got the best heal, the dinosaur. Um, so yeah, that was basically it for the deck profile. Um, this deck is a lot of fun. I have enjoyed it a lot. Um... I would say that the only thing that does come up is sometimes I feel like I do run out of like pretty good overdress targets or making pretty good turns for like the multi-attacking step. So I feel like that's the only last thing that I can really mention. But thanks again for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the deck profile and I'll be seeing you all in the next one.